What is up guys, Tanner back from GT's Outdoors channel. Another broadhead test. This will be our thirst, first, uh, third one in the traditional series here we're doing with broadheads. And uh, what we have today is the Cold Steel Cheap Shot 125. Um, closer up look at it. So this is a polymer broadhead. It's made out of plastic. It's a fancy way of saying plastic. Um, I got this, this six pack from uh, Rivers Archery for seven or eight bucks, um, and I got it set up on my uh, X3 Hunters as a small game broadhead, uh, small game arrow. So these are my old arrows. Uh, nothing, nothing crazy about them. Just the uh, X3 340s. Well, well, that's upside down, but uh, there we go. X3 Hunter 340, 32 inch, uh, 150 grain insert. With a 125 grain equals that 175 grain. Give you guys a real good close-up of that cheap shot. So, uh, designed as a small game broadhead. I did see on Cold Steel stuff that they were shooting um, like warthogs and uh, an Impala and all kinds of stuff over in Africa. Um, which is pretty interesting to me considering um, it's designed for small game and being cheap. So, uh, I really want to see how it will hold up. So this is kind of an unrealistic test for this broadhead. Uh, don't really think it's going to uh, penetrate, but we are gonna shoot it through uh, pork shoulder bone, um, just like all the other tests. So obviously uh, I don't think this would shoot very well off my 65 pound um, Cheyenne Primitive or my 55 pound Mark Hunter or anything I've got really um, besides my bear Kodiak Magnum, 48 pounds. At 28 inches um, that's what this bow is set up for a small game and turkey hunting so I did see Lynn Thompson did shoot a turkey with uh, one of these guys off of a I believe it was a crossbow but uh, pretty good little setup for small game definitely can't complain I think I'm gonna try it out uh, this year a little bit more uh, it's getting a little late in the season for squirrel hunting but uh, we're gonna try it as you guys might have noticed with my Vista Predator hip quiver on uh, it's a broadhead hip quiver. I'm liking it so far. I've had it about a week and a half, so I will let you guys know uh, more about that in a, in a future video. Um, so I'm going to get you guys all set up here. We're going to shoot a field point first, and then one of these cheap shots, and uh, see how well it flies. See you guys here in a second. All right, guys. Going to step back to about 12 yards here and shoot field point first, then the cheap shot broadhead. shot this bow in a while guys since the since the video came out actually so uh and get back in the groove here but just seeing how this baby flies now it seems like it flew pretty well um we're gonna go ahead and move on to the pork shoulder bone all right guys got our pork shoulder bone all set up here i'm gonna step back to 12 yards and uh see just what this cheap shot broadhead can really do Okay, guys, so let's go uh, have a closer look here. Zoom you guys out. There we go. Okay, so there is the boat. Put the boat down there. All right, guys, so there is our cheap shot broadhead. Um, give you guys a good view. So I'll give you a before and after. Here is the one we shot into quote unquote into that uh, shoulder blade and there's a new one so there's there's a slight difference in those points there it definitely uh, broke that point right off so it actually wound up breaking off the, uh, the ferrule in the end of my arrow here unfortunately so I will have to get that out but uh, here's our damage um, not, not a whole lot I really wasn't expecting a whole lot off of this and uh, the tip is not stuck in there. So honestly, I'm going to say it made it, it made it through the meat for sure. Um, I don't think it 
it's hard to tell. Might have made it through a little bit of bone, but not a whole lot. So, I mean, these guys shooting them at uh, pigs and whatnot over in uh, Africa, I'm just, I'm not buying it. Let me see here. It looks like it blew out this side piece here. Um, let me uh, dig this out real quick and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, guys, we're back. So dug out that piece that looked like it got knocked loose. Um, there's a crater here. Uh, there is our entrance hole. It did not go all the way through, but uh, it did make it through a, a good little bit of that bone. Definitely not uh, quite as much as I thought it would, but um, also, I mean, it's a small game head. So stick around. I'll give you guys my final review here in just a second. All right, guys. So my final thoughts on the cold steel cheap shot are uh, it's an economical head for sure being about a dollar or so a piece definitely not uh, super expensive um, it was shot out of my 48 to 28 uh, bear kodiak magnum so definitely not overpowered it wasn't like the bow um, was overpowering this when it hit i do think with possibly a higher poundage bow it might have gone deeper into that shoulder uh, definitely not uh, disappointed with what it is for being a plastic broadhead for I mean it did get some penetration into that bone so definitely can't complain about that especially for liter a literal piece of plastic it definitely took a uh, quite a wallop um, off that and broke the ferrule and everything off inside the arrow which um, not super happy about that because I'm gonna have to get that out now but uh, overall I'd probably give this this broadhead for being a small game broadhead um, and we, we definitely, uh, over, over, uh, well, definitely made, uh, made it a little hard on it for shooting it into a frozen shoulder bone. So I'd probably give it as a small game head, probably a six or seven out of 10, uh, just for the fact that it did get penetration into that pretty thick shoulder bone. So, uh, I would definitely recommend, uh, a small game, uh, broadhead. If you're looking for something this style, this would be a really good option. I think, um, we are going to have a part two to this test at some point, and uh, we're actually just going to shoot a chicken with it. Not a you know live chicken or anything, but a, a whole fryer. I want to shoot a whole fryer with it and just see what kind of damage we really get. So uh, stick around. There will be a part two to this uh, video coming out at some point. So appreciate you guys watching. This is Tanner from GT's Outdoors channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.